I didn't put the intro on. Forge. Okay. One more try. Okay. Oh. Yeehaw! <laughs> okay, it did work. So, today is very first banter and um, my very first time facing camera since long time. So, it feels a little bit awkward. Hello, hello, hello. I will say hello to people who are already on the chat. I'm looking on the side because there is my screen. And if I look like I sit very awkwardly, that's because exactly what happened. Uh, I just changed the setup and it, and it doesn't work. So, uh, hello, Karen. Hi, Katarina. Um, uh, hey, Asha. Um, oh, hello, no, no. Uh, I think that I saw Moika. Yeah, I see Moika. So, hello, guys. So, today um, I wanted to make, first I wanted to make a video. Then I wanted to make a super cool live stream with a lot of videos with me using different products. But then, like always, I ran out of the time. And that's the story of 2020. And I'm moving on to 2021 with constant leak of time but i assembled some pretty cool graphics so i will start with the disclaimer that i took those pictures from the website of the companies that make those products those are not my pictures if there was a watermark on the picture i wasn't removing it so you will see probably some with the watermarks and uh, today we will waffle about the products that I like and I'm I'm wondering if those are products that you like as well. Uh, hello, hi Kevin. Oh my god, I didn't see for ages. Guys, it, it have been like two weeks and I feel like it it was so so long since I saw like everyone and since those things were going on. So um it's whole year, it's whole year since um I started to rediscover product. I was uh, on the exclusive deal with the brand for a really long time. And then, uh, you know, all the products sparks joy. Uh, and I wanted to try it all. So uh, after four years, uh, I already have an idea what I like to use and what I don't like to use. Um, no, Karen, it's uh, just new week. It's a new week. I cut my hair, but you didn't see my natural hair for quite a long time. And uh, I have a couple of those. So, you know, just to change stuff a little bit. And to be fair, I, I was wondering if the, the live stream has sense and maybe it's better to make a video. But I, you know, we are on the like round of the lockdown and I need the reason to, you know, wash my hair and take off my pjs and put oh in this case super <laughs> t-shirt i'm supposed to change but okay never mind we we will start a new year in superman t-shirt so uh basically it happens that i'm involved with a lot of those brands but when i started to discover those products i wasn't and nobody's paying me for that video all the opinions are my own and my own only and one more thing um you know with uh, everything going on with sponsorships and being the DT member i know that i said that i don't want to be a design team member and i end up a year with being in two new design teams, but it's a little bit different. Both of them are exactly what I will look in the design team and I'm not the perfect design team member. And regardless that they took me in, I'm super grateful and I'm loving both of the teams and uh, both of the crews are so freaking amazing. And by the way, we have a new thing over here. Oh my God, it's the other way around. So guys, be wary, I'm sorry, it's adult content. I will swear probably and talk a lot. And I I prepared for that video. Wow, that is something new. I have notes and I have uh, make some tabs. So uh, we will start with uh, so me on the screen. Um, 
because some of those products will just appear here under me uh, underneath my face and, and some other ones will be like the full screen and i will just talk over them like i said i assumed that i will have time to record the short clips but i didn't and uh, we will go through all the products that might be not super new for me this year but i enjoy using them and most of them I repurchased or I will repurchase if uh, I will run out of them. It doesn't matter if they were sent to me or did I buy them with my own money. You know, if I don't like the product, I will tell you that I don't like the product or I will explain also why I like the ones that I like. So, ooh, they cover my face. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we are starting with the glues. Oh my God, where is my finger? It's here. Yeah, so uh, we are starting with glues, with essential, essentials. Oh my God, I have to be taller. Oh my, oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay, so now I'm, uh, now I'm, I am a tall person. <laughs> hello, hello. I understand why you like to change your hair. I dyed mine purple. Yes, I saw, I saw that. I I love to change the the hair color, and I cannot uh, I cannot dye my hair right now, and it's pandemic. So, and it's such a cool thing that I can have a short hair today and a long one a uh, uh, long one tomorrow, and most of them I can wear up to the week when I put them on. So. <laughs> That's great. Um, uh, Oriana, I love to dye my hair right now. I'm blonde and originally did black. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> That's brave. That's brave. Uh, so I'm originally dark brown and my hair were really burnt. So, uh, and right now it's, it's the, Topic for totally different conversation. Okay, let's move on to the glues. So it doesn't matter if you are doing scrapbooking, card making, mixed media, you need a glue. And those are really fucking amazing glues. Sorry, there is no other way to put it. So uh, mixed media glue, I discovered by cooperating with Stamperia. I like that it's in the jar, it's really good glue. Um, and uh, it works beautifully. You can apply it with the brush. You get a lot of it in the uh, in the package, and it works uh, beautifully. And I really enjoy using that. I'm on my fourth, five, sixth jar this year, so I really liked it. And two other ones. Uh, one is from Stamperia. Uh, okay, this one. This one, this one, Ooh. this one is from Stamperia, and uh, it was recommended to me by Nuneka. I purchased my first tube with uh, Niki. So yes, I purchased a glue that is made in Europe and shipped it to Europe from USA. Whole a bunch of cents, but it's always sold out. So uh, I love it. I just freaking love it. It's it's here. Look, handy handy little one it have a nice nib okay i can show it to the camera like beauty where is my camera by the way okay okay this way around it have a nice uh precise nib tip and it's just beautiful glue it sticks everything you know everything that i would not use jaw medium for because there is no point uh i will use this one or the pentart one. They are basically uh, same or very, very similar thing. They dry very fast. They hold really well. Even a lighter metal embellishments, you can stick with them and they will not unstick. Uh, paper will not wave. And, uh, you know, nice holds, quick dry, and they are transparent when they dry. So even if you mess up a little bit, then you can fix it up. And I would recommend and swear by all of them. Basically, all the products from, <laughs> from today are like ride or die, or die. If I use something and it's not in the video, it doesn't mean that I hate it and I think it's shit. No, it's just not my product of choice. And it's fine because not everything is for everyone. That's why we have so many of them on the market. 
I use a lot of wigs too. Yeah, because they are fun. They are fun and you can change your personality, you know, in five seconds, basically. Um, uh, uh, yeah, and Nuno agrees with me that it's best glue. It, it was her recommendation. And a lot of the products that you will see today, I either saw on my friends' videos, they recommended me them, or, um, you know, I just saw using them using those products and I wanted to try and I fell in love. Um, I already got two DMs if I will do the products that I hated this year. No, I will not. Because <laughs> there is no reason for me to bash those products. Like I said, some stuff that works for me and that I love probably half of the chat will be like, no, 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 I prefer something else. And it's fine. It's fine. It's good that we have a lot of options uh, and everyone can have a choice. Okay, so glues. Uh, after glues, we have, oh, gel mediums. So we are still in the topic of um, uh, of the uh, of the gluing and hoo -hoo, here we have the whole, <laughs> the whole row. So again, to explain uh, those two and the two of them on the, oh my God, it's right or left. Anyway, uh, Finaba products are side by side, old and new packaging because you can still get them in the, uh, in the old jar. The old jar was this one with the colorful label and now they all look like those uh, nice, uh, dark jars they they look really nice on the shelf uh, uh so those two will be heavy body gel uh, and uh those two at the end will be 3d gloss gel so why so many why because i like them all <laughs> I like glossy gel from Stamperia equally as 3D gloss gel from Finoba. So it depends what I have handy because usually I run off at least one of those because those are three products. And uh, I'm supposed to have all three of them in my stash because I like all three of them equally. Uh, but uh, the truth is that usually I will have either a Stamperia Glossy Gel or Finabar 3D Glossy Gel because one will, you know, I will use it and I'm horrible with repurchasing, with remembering what should I purchase, to be fair. So, yeah, uh, you can, I would not say that one is better than the other or one is rip off on the, or of the other or, I don't know, Stamperia is cheaper version of Finaba. I don't think it's that much cheaper. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure because, you know, usually I buy in bulk and I, I just like those products. So even if they would be more expensive, I will still uh, buy them. Uh, so glossy gel and 3D gloss gel, those are gel mediums. I go for the gloss because I often stick also glass and I like glossy finish. Um, I have some matte mediums for the purposes when I need something to be matte, but we will talk about the matte finish later on. Um, both glossy gel and 3D gloss gel hold this. Oh, hello, hello, Bella. Both of them uh, works uh, pretty amazing. They dry quite fast. I would not say that it's instant. If I need instant dry, I will gr grab one of those glues, those extra uh, uh, extra fast ones, because they dry fast, and I will use them together with one of the mediums, or, you know, like the hot glue gun mixed with gel medium. All of those products are amazing. The, the, the one that it's different is this one. It's a heavy body gel. It's very thick gel medium. It's meant to um, stick quite heavy stuff. So if you have metal embellishments that weighs a little bit and you want to put your, your work vertically, I, I'm looking if I have any project that I can show you uh, what I mean. Uh, if you want stuff to not fall off from your project, and uh, they are difficult material like plastic and glass or 
um, something, like I said, heavy, then I would grab heavy body gel. There is no purpose of using heavy body gel everywhere and every time because uh, glossy gel and 3D gloss gel will dry more translucent. A heavy body gel is also translucent, but it will uh, dry longer. It's much thicker and less sticky. And um, the way that we, uh, you know, uh, both gloss gel and 3D gloss gel, you can take just a little bit and put under your embellishment and it will hold it. Uh, with heavy body gel, you should apply more than you need and remove the excess because you know the the things have to be just pushed into that gel to to make sure that they are secured all three products you know ride or, or die swear by them you know basically all those go-to products are in my handy cupboard um i was thinking that i could like show you them here but then uh, again awkward position because i i'm used from doing those things but I want to get used to that again. So <laughs> um, anyway, all three products, beautiful, amazing. Just I really fucking swear by them. Uh, I wasn't disappointed with them. Not a single fail. That would be not a human error. Hmm. Impatient. Uh, I combined hot glue with jaw. Yeah. Yeah, that, that works as well, but uh, with the hot glue, uh, I'm buying a new hot glue gun <laughs> since like six months, I think, since I burned mine. You remember, Bella, that mine is smoking. Basically, my hot glue gun, you will plug it in and it starts to smoke because I burned the thermostat. So, uh, yeah. And um, it's easy to burn yourself if you are me and you are too poor to pay attention. So um, I'm trying to avoid a uh, hot glue if I can. Um, also, okay, hashtag <laughs> shameless. I forget to buy the glue sticks and right now we cannot buy them in person so I have to remember to go to Amazon put them in my basket and uh, it's way too much for the brain. For those two brain cells that I have left it's it's way too much. Okay so we have uh, we have the 3D gloss gel. We still on basics. I have to move on. I have to move on. Okay so next one will be Jesu. And here, um, you know, my preferences are <laughs> for the white gesso. I would go for Finobar Heavy Body Gesso. It's beautiful, smooth, um, buttery uh, product that gives you amazing finish. Uh, and it works just beautiful. It preps your uh, surface for further shenanigans. Oh, my God, why I pick those super hard words yes so it works beautiful uh, remember that gesso is not paint it's supposed not to give you uh, a full coverage with one layer at least not the white one so keep that in mind it has quite decent coverage and it leaves a really nice finish i like to to touch the the surface when it's gessoed and it it is nice and smooth and ah, just beautiful next one for clear gesso, my gesso of choice would be Liquitex clear gesso. It has very, very strong tooth. It gives you very, very rough surface, and I love it. I love it. I, I honestly love it. It's so easy to shape stuff on that. It's, it's, and it gives you this beautiful matte finish. It feels almost like a sand, sandpaper under your fingers when you cover the surface with that. I love it. It's my, uh, I'm on my sixth bottle. I don't like smooth uh, gesso. Clear gesso, in my opinion, shouldn't be smooth. For my techniques, for the way that I use that product, I prefer this uh, rough finish because um, there is also from both PBO and Fimba, uh, you can get the clear gesso and it will be smooth. You like gel medium and uh, it's too slippery for me. It doesn't work with the techniques that I want to do on top of clear gesso. 
And the last one will be black gesso, and it's uh, my gesso, my, my very favorite one will be PBO. And oh my God, it, it's just amazing. I still didn't get a chance to um, uh, try the white gesso from PBO, and I think that it would work uh, nice as well. So the, the thing that this gesso is doing, when you paint on glass with your brush, with gesso, you can see brush strokes. And with this product, you will not see them. When it dries, it looks like um, sprayed on gesso. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. It's 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 my absolutely favorite. I like uh, Finabar black gesso as well. Uh, Finabar black gesso is a little bit thicker than this one. This one is liquidy. And the first time when I got it, I opened the bowl and I was like, what the fuck? Why it's so liquid? The gesso should be, you know, heavy like a toothpaste. Uh, but it works. It works. I fell in love. And um, both of those two products are repeat from my last year list. So I'm already using them for more than one and a half years. And they are still my favorite. Sorry, my, my nose is itchy. Uh, oh, hello, 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 hello. Uh, I have a slight delay, so if you ask about something and I'm still raving, uh, that means that I didn't see the question because I, I see them on the screen here and here, on both screens, oh my God, squirrel. Uh, yes, <laughs> um, we have slight delay and uh, um, and yes, so those would be my gestures of choice. And you know, with having white, clear and black, I secured all the bases, yeah. Um, and like I said at the beginning, um, those are just my ride or die, you know, like very, very favorite, the, the products of choice, because you can work with whatever you have. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, after working with a specific brand for extended periods of time, I wanted to experiment. I wanted to see what actually I like. And I love the fact that all design teams that I'm in currently allowing me to just do whatever I like, <laughs> just use whatever I like. Of course, if I'm doing <clears throat> like Finabar um, themed project, I will use Finabar gesso. And it's a very good gesso and it's beautiful and it's amazing. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. There is also nothing wrong with Stamperia gesso or Pentar gesso. I just happens to love Finabar white one and the uh, Leaf Quitex clear one. And I know because uh, I had the, um, uh, I didn't see uh, two others. Uh, Asha, so actually the black paper just so I bought in Scrap Basia. It's a Polish shop and that's the only place that I saw it. I, I cannot get it here. And Liquitex, oh my God, where do I buy my Liquitex? Should. Um, I was buying it in the art shop, um, like a specific shop for the artist here. Uh, I still have half ball left and I didn't use it yet. So I think that I, I'm safe till the lockdown is over and I can go and repurchase it. If not, then I will be start to worrying about it. But I'm pretty sure that PBO one you can buy in. Um, in Polish shop in Scrap Basia, they have it. Um, I started Mix Media a long time ago with PBO one, but now I use the Finaba one more. You know, it depends on preferences because sometimes it changes, you know, like um, with time, the preference for the product will change because my style is changing and it's okay. You know, those things that I was using um, in the past, they're not all comparable with those. Uh, I, I would say that, that those are like, you know, high shell, the best of the best. And I would say that uh, black gesso from uh, Finaba, I didn't try Stamperia's black gesso, I tried only white. But, uh, you know, black gesso from Finaba, it's also, you know, like high end product, the top shell. And it's beautiful product. I would say that it's uh, very comparable. Some of the products that I was using, uh, I don't know, three, four years ago, 
uh, are not comparable with those. Uh, I would I would pick those. They they are more expensive, but they last me for longer, uh, and they have better quality and just they make work easier. That's why we pick, and that's why you should test the products like uh, with David, for example, uh, you know, lately I sent him uh, samples of some of, of the things that I like so he can try it out because that's the thing that some things that you love, I will hate and we will go to that, to that spot. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. There will be a product that I, I hate from very specific reason and most of you will love it for that reason that I hate it. Um, oh, hello, 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 Nelly. Uh, Christiana is saying that uh, Pentout had the product, uh, that have the primer paste uh, that have a really nice uh, structure. I will try it out. If you recommend it, I will try it out because I love the stuff that you are doing. And, uh, you know, if you say that, Good product. I will try. I will try. Okay, let's see what's next on my list. Uh, oh, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving uh, from the basics to the colors. So uh, now it will be the the full screen thing. I hope. Yes, it is. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I hope so. So. Oh my God, I love those. Uh, I fall in love with the liquid acrylic products uh, some time ago. And then uh, I started to work with the Polish shop that have a lot of Prima stuff because uh, that was also the, the reason why I started to work with them because I wanted to test out those Prima stuff because I know I'm fucking late to the party, but like I said, a long time exclusive deal just excluded me from some of the novelties and some of the products on the market so a lot of the things that you will see on the screen are, are nothing nothing new they were new for me and i just oh my god those liquid acrylics i was using um and i still use i still have it and it's still amazing product i was using um wait 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 i will grab them from from here so i can show you the bowl because i don't know how it is with you i shop with my eyes and i have to know how how it looks okay uh, let me take it off the screen. Yeah, so before uh, I discovered Finobar uh, liquid acrylics, uh, my liquids, my liquid acrylic of choice, because I will always go for the acrylic. If we have the option of using, uh, I don't know, uh, semi-permanent or water-based, uh, I mean, this one is also... <laughs> yeah, okay, let, let's say that for, for, for the sake of the argument. <laughs> But water-based means that it will not dry permanent. So I would go either for uh, Acryl Academy. Uh, it looks like that. Sorry for my light. Again, a shitty adjustment. Either for this one or for those. And basically, those will be the same product. There is also Descart Fluid Acrylics, but I prefer those. I don't know why. Probably because they are uh, with the fancy um, atom, atomizer and you feel like the mad scientist when you drop stuff uh, on your project. Love the experience. And then I tried those and oh my God, guys, it, it, it's it's amazing. It's uh, It has amazing pigmentation. It allows me to, to, to work with multiple techniques um, and uh, oh, I just love them. On the screen, you can see four of my favorite colors because i like them all i don't have i believe only avocado green but not because i'm a green hater because i want to have that full palette i started with one i always started like that i buy one and then if i love it i expand the palette so i want to have a full palette and avocado green was just sold out it's, it's not the matter of me hating green I saw Alexandra's stream and she did uh, an artwork. She used avocado green and it was really nice green. Yes, I said that on camera. <laughs> um, I love this liquid ac acrylics. Yes, they have, oh my God, they have such an amazing quality. I love that they are 
super highly pigmented. I would say that some colors are more pigmented than my Liquidex ones. And I was sure that Liquidex is, you know, it will be like Ferrari. And I would take those over my Liquidex every, every time. So my four favorite colors will be, um, I don't know how well you can see that on the screen. It will be uh, Amber or Umber. I don't know how to, to read the name because I would say that Amber is with A on the beginning. But anyway, the, the brown is Umber and it's a neutral brown. It will fit your cool and warm tones. And it always looks just fucking amazing and gives you this nice vintage steampunky, uh, a little bit um, worn look. Uh, two other ones uh, that are like always, uh, you don't have to use them together. I like to use them together and they go uh, well together. You can use one or the other. It will be tiger orange. That is, um, those are rusty colors. <laughs> tiger orange is more on the orangey side when you apply it and it goes uh, to uh yellowish orange but it's still orange you can still say that it's orange that it's rusty orange and second one is the one that is on the top of the screen next to the blue it's carmine on the sample it looks like it's perfect rust color and it is but when you apply it uh from the tube it looks red so don't get panic and don't confuse it with magenta because when they are wet they look a little bit similar especially uh, in my lightning so it, it happens that I will uh, confuse them a little bit uh, but uh, carmine oh my god if you like the rust effect grab carmine or target tiger orange or both of them because you know you can thank me later okay you're welcome and <laughs> And the uh, last one of my favorites is the first one that I ever got. It's a deep turquoise. And uh, this color can be more blue or more tealish, depending on what you will pair it with, what and next to uh, which color you will place it. Oh my God, beautiful, beautiful product. And I have to disclose that I fell in love in liquid acrylics and in general in, with Pinaba products before uh, I became a brand ambassador. I fell in love with them already like last year because Prima products were the first ones that I purchased uh, to, to give it a try because everyone were raving about them. I uh, follow uh, a lot of um crafty people <laughs> on youtube and you know everyone uh karen tamir uh tiffany uh nelly they were all grabbing the the prima uh, colors and i was like oh my god that looks fucking amazing i want to try it and i did try it and it didn't disappoint me i had no issues no problems uh, you know just beautiful product okay and we are moving to to my big love of this year and that's in pastel paint. And um, I have to tell you that that paint will not be for everyone. <laughs> it's perfect for me. It's super thick. It's super thick. It's uh, extra covering. And, you know, it's like full fucking coverage. <laughs> Ooh, fucking coverage uh love it it's thick it dries fast it's it's a beautiful product to work with and it's a beautiful paint to work with i'm not sure though it if it will work for the fine pa painting because it might dry too fast especially if you are such a fucking turtle like me you know when belinda has whole piece already done and i'm like ah, fiddling with my brush with the first stage so those paints are Beautiful. My favorite colors would be Bidua Pink and Dark Chocolate. And Dark Chocolate is a beautiful brown that do not look like a poo. And that's the, the, the problem with browns, to get the brown that will not look like a poo or baby poo or any kind of poo. Uh, so this brown looks really, it's chocolate brown and ah, oh, it's just beautiful. Okay, 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 let's move on. So we have face. Hey, hey. So uh, my paste of choice, as much as I love Pinomba pastes, and I, I just start to, to play with some of them, 
so you know I, I don't think that I can uh, have an opinion about the product that I just tried like once or twice uh, that's also the reason why I don't have videos about those paints on my channel because I thought that uh, it's better to use them for a really long time to have really solid opinion you know if it's good or if it's shit what you can do with it uh, and uh, I already have uh, scheduled and planned uh, videos about liquid acrylics and impasto paste uh, liquid acrylics will go on in February uh, so, and it will be also, in case that somebody from Poland is watching, it will be also available in Polish because uh, uh, the videos will be uh, made with uh, cooperation with scrapbooking shop. So, so yeah, they will be up and I think that it will be one per month, uh, one product family per month. Uh, and then like probably something everything about acrylics or something like that because we also have metallic paints that we will not touch even today because <laughs> i uh, i like them but um, those are not my you know when the craft room is burning and you just you can grab just certain amount of the products i would not save my metallic paints i, I would grab everything that i'm talking about today uh at the first uh, first place so my very favorite uh paste will be stamperia cream paste i fell in love with that when i entered um stamperia vernissage and they sent me the the whole parcel belinda already told me that the product will be amazing so you know oh my god the cream paste it's beautiful you can dry it with the heat gun it's it's like marshmallow, it's super light paste and it's super opaque, oh, just beautiful. And pasta structura is totally opposite. It's super heavy and I don't use it as the texture modeling paste. Uh, you know, with the pasta structura, you can also make those beautiful uh, uh, reliefs uh, and uh, pose sculptures. No, I use it as a glue when I need the, the you know, when I would not use gel medium because I would have to apply it, wait until it's dry and feel all the gaps, I would grab the paste and just smooth it around the edges. Oh my God, I love it. I I don't have it. I'm supposed to buy it for today, but I forgot to go and buy it because <laughs> uh, I ran out and uh, yeah, love it. I 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 just, I, I just love both of them um okay that's uh that's that about those pastes we will move on because i will get back to them later on it's it, it's complicated it's in the book so we will do like it's in the book next product oh i thought that it will be the full screen okay so it's uh peanut bar icing paste and uh i was uh i didn't expect to like that product I was asked to, to make a video about it, to use it, because there was a lot of questions about how to use it. It's, oh my God, it's like whipped um, paste. It's um, very metallic. Uh, I had two colors by now. I had vintage gold and uh, white gold. Love them both. And uh, they give you beautiful result. It dries very, very fast. It's very, very thick. And remember, when you open your product, uh, and I do it also, for example, with Pasta Structura and with most of my products right now. Uh, I open my product. You have the like uh, aluminum seal on top. I'm trying not to rip it off, just to, to, to put it up so then I can put it down. I know that you can use that press and seal or, or, or this the, the sink for food, but mm, no. <laughs> I will forget. Uh, but every now and then I open uh, my pastes and I would spray them with distillate water, you know, just one spritz. I have a, sp a spritzer on my desk and I just add one spritz because a uh, heavier product is, uh, faster it will dry on you. And less product you have in your package, more air gets to the um to the product and you know they are all air drying so when you have the air in the jar with the air drying product uh you can use your imagination and know what's happening so 
yeah, I, I'm consistently spraying them time to time and uh, had no issues. But, you know, it's it's one spray. It's not like, I don't know, glass of water to the job. It, it, it have to be just a little bit because uh, you shouldn't dilute the acrylics more than by 30% because then you get under bending and uh, they can start to separate and, and stuff like that. So, yeah. And remember to use the distillate water because if you will use the regular water, uh, then uh, we we can get um, molding issues. It depends on your water. Um, here, I didn't get mold in any of my products yet, but I remember that in Poland. Uh, oops. <laughs> but probably here we have a little bit different water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as we are at the shiny things, because we will go back to the palace in one second, we have waxes. And um, I got them first, uh, first bunch I got from my best friend uh, for my birthday two years ago. I got a couple of the colors, including green, including green. And oh my God, I love them. I, I love them. I love how they smell. I love how they work. I love them under my finger. I love, I just love everything about those waxes. Now they come in tubes, not in the cans. I mean, they still can come in the cans. That's, uh, we are in the transition. <laughs> so you can get a, a tin or you can get a tube. Uh, I happen to be lucky enough to have uh, both. And mm, to be fair, I, I like them both. I mean, I, I love the fact that I can put my big brush into the tin and just cover it completely. But it's, it depends on how how you use it and what is your technique. Um, the product is the same. It's, it's a beautiful product. Uh, ones that, you know, if you are on the budget and you just want to start, and you want to try it out, uh, I would uh, recommend one of the natural colors of metal. And my very favorite uh, would be vintage gold or brushed iron if you are a silver person. And uh, if you like a really soft, delicate and, and shimmery look, then grab vintage silk from Opal Magic and go, oh, you will thank you later. I have one more picture of them. Uh, here they are a little bit used, so you can see how shiny they are. And um, those are, um, I believe, that the same colors uh, in the tube and in the can. I was a little bit in the brush with the pictures. I think that I should record the video with uh, swatches of all of them because I, I think I miss only two from the palette. But I'm I'm obsessed with them. That was the product that I fell in love with, and uh, I started to collect them. Uh, I started with natural colors, and then I moved to, to the crazy ones like electric violet or peacock. Um, bonjour, yeah, bonjour, Sarah. Pardonnez-moi, je ne parle pas français. Salut. Uh, okay, that was uh, the, that was my show off. Uh, I put burnt sienna in a bowl with water, and it's a perfect straight. Oh my god, Katrina! I will I will try it out because uh, there is also a liquid solution uh, that could help you with better bending. I mean, you know, for the purpose of the spray, I uh, I think it doesn't matter. I just like when when things are acrylic, when they are fucking bulletproof and I can uh, dry brush on top and nothing will pick up. I, I hate the fact that water syllable things when I dry brush them, that they pick up the color and you, it, it's picking up and it's picking up and I'm dry brushing and it's still picking up the color and I'm like, ah, no. Yes, yeah, so mm -mm. I moved to acrylics and, uh, uh, and, and be quite happy with that. Mm, okay. Uh, are you still have this green wax? Yes, of course, I still have it. Uh, and a uh, funny thing that I use it quite a lot, it's a uh, green brocade. No, a lucky clover, sorry. It's a lucky clover, and now I have it in the tin and I have it in the tube. I also shared it with David. David, do you, do you like your, because you, you asked for green, so I gave you, because I don't have the emerald. I think that I'm missing five or four colors to have the, the full palette. I, ha I have to go through the tubes that uh, we received just before Christmas. But, you know, um, 
2020 is just it was just fucked up year, and uh, so, so I I found myself constantly chasing my tail still, but I'm not complaining. It was a good year. It was very busy, and the end of the year was very busy for me. That's why I I I, I was a little bit more quiet, but uh, that was a good year. I I, I met. I met you guys. I, I I rediscovered my community, and in general, personally, I I feel more happy. And oh my god, I know it was a horrible year for everyone, but I I still I would still say that it was horrible. But I'm grateful. Uh, white pearl is my new love. You know, uh, the for me, white pearl is a little bit too strong. Uh, but I will try it out as the hi highlight. I didn't have the playtime. I'm missing Saturdays. I had so much playtime when we were doing stream every fucking Saturday. I was, I, I, I had the time, you know, to 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 play out with with, with stuff, and uh, I'm missing that. I, I am missing that. Um, I'm trying to schedule some stuff. And by the way, guys, some of those products, if I tell you that I, I was using something for really some time, that means that I was, but I, from different kind of reasons, I couldn't share my, uh, my words with that or, uh, either I didn't do a specific project, but I played with the product. I, I do it often that I don't create the project, but I test out the product on that surface and this surface, how it how it looks, how it blends, how it smooths, how it reacts with other ones. Uh, so there is there is nothing untested basically in the video. Okay, uh, we are still in the topic of the waxes and uh, this kind of waxy products and uh, so those will be uh, one of my top choices because that's even and those are two different products here we have pbo gelding wax and uh, you could argue that it's a, it's the same product uh, i mean if you don't like the uh, smell of the turpentine you will hate the pbo one it's more like goldfinger if you ever used it it's a solvent base uh, and it's a little bit different product it's uh, not even uh, a, a gold wax it's oh my god it, it it's just a metal in the cream it's it's a very 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 metallic effect you, it's very hard to to, to get um this uh, effect that we all often go for with the metallic waxes when you have like the black surface with a little bit shine no that will be like in your fucking face shine and if you cannot get uh, PBO from some kind of reason, or you think it's pricey, because it is pricey, but it's also in the nice uh, jar. I have two colors of this works. I love them both. But the perfect uh, replacement will be this one. It's a gold paste from a Polish brand called Renaissance. I love it. They have a lot of colors, and it's exactly the uh, same product. I would not... I mean, they look similar, they smell similar, they work similar, They're two different brands. Uh, there is not like one is better than the other. The product uh, varies a little bit. And, uh, you know, dependingly on the color, you will get a different payoff and different amount of shine. Um, I would say that they are more glittery metallic than um, Finobar ones. Finobar ones are metallic and uh and smooth metallic and those are like glittery metallic i have my colors here uh this one is the one that i purchased lately and uh they smell like solvent it's still better than stamperia wax oh <sighs> um my lights are shit. I mean, I, I can see the see well in them but you you know it will not give you the the um, reflectiveness of that product uh, they last for really really long uh, all the waxes are they have a longevity if you are on the budget just buy uh, you know with the friend and just share the jar and uh yeah because uh, there is no way that i will use up all those waxes in my lifetime <laughs> to be fair <laughs> But I love them, and I really like to work with the wax. I, I would take wax over a metallic paint for sure because it's easier for me to work with, and I like the effect more, and it's just 
unsick. Yes, so uh, Stamperia waxes and uh, Pentat uh, waxes that are also quite popular, they look beautiful. From Stamperia, I have rose gold because it's, it's a beautiful color and there is nothing like that. But I hate the smell. They smell like the freaking uh, mandarin or orange. It's artificial smell. And for me, it's the worst thing ever. The worst thing ever. The thing that people love those waxes for, for this mandarin scent. I hate it. I hate it. I cannot use it. I seriously, it's just the product itself as the wax is it's amazing. It, it works beautifully. And if you look at, for example, Bella's works, uh, you can see that those waxes are beautiful. They are shiny, they are metallic, and uh, the working with them is easy, nice, and pleasant. But they stink like orange, and it's no for me. I know it's a silly reason, but you know, shut up, don't come for me. It's my channel. I will do whatever I want. <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> Don't get offended. Um, I think Sarah's, uh, but ma that might change. Uh, with um, a there is Saturday. Oh, we have a Saturday hope. Yay! Am I in? Can I be in? Who wants to be with me? Oh, nobody will wants to be with me because I have never finished the project. <laughs> Okay, the, the, the next uh, product, guess what? It's a matte wax for a change. And uh, those are matte waxes from Finaba. And uh, I love them. I love them. I love that product. Um, now they are in the tube. Here on the picture, you can see the consistency that they should have. If they have, like, if they are more fluid, just cool them down. Because, you know, with the craziness of the weather and the fact that they are uh, based on uh, natural ingredients and wax, uh, every single freaking wax, except the ones that are solvent based. And when you warm it, it will melt like the beeswax, for example. Uh, so when it's uh, when it's warmer, they, they are a little bit more liquid and you have to learn how to work with the product. The product have a curve, so don't go hammer handed with with that okay don't go don't go hammer handed with that because it will not fucking work out you will just have wax like everywhere because they are super pigmented and uh, do not expect that charcoal black will be black it's not charcoal it's it's not black it's deep deep grayish blue for example <laughs> I love that effect because it looks cool with the shading. If you want the black one, then go with the pentart and cope with, uh, for example, the mandarin stinge. No, thank you. Okay, and uh, now the product. Do do do. Oh, do. What? No. Okay, it's. Okay, it's weird. It's it's here. Yeah. So uh, probably uh, some of you remember the first time when I used that. <laughs> I was sure that after that file, I will not fall in love with it, but I did. I did. It's a uh, Patina Ombra uh, from Stamperia, and it's oil-based product. Remember to use it after you stick your shit down, because nothing will stick to that. It's uh, it's waxy. It's oily. It gives, uh, the, you know, it will protect your surface. Use it after everything is stuck down. You can paint over it, for example, with uh, matte waxes, and you can shade. Uh, but you will not stick anything on your surface when you use that product. Learn from my mistake. <laughs> Wait, I will. Uh, I will check the comments. Um, uh, Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I should check it. Uh, I was working <laughs> like last year and uh, this year started with me fucking working all the time and with not being able to follow your routines and with like, um, you know, everyone in the household lock lockdown, we are not going out. Then, oh my God, I tend to go to, to my night owl mode. And right now it turned into me waking up around 
1 p.m. and then working till 10 a.m., for example. So, hoo -hoo. yeah, but this way or another, I will not complain. I will not complain. I can do it and I will push through it. It's a couple more weeks, months, maybe, and it will be fine. It will be fine. I will be fine because I have a good support system. <laughs> And I believe in myself. <laughs> and my friend Belinda will support me with <laughs> being at this organized mess. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to, to be more organized and to, to, to plan more ahead. But it's really fucking difficult. And, you know, it's like, I, I will not fucking complain about it. I'm just telling you like it is. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. Probably I'm failing nine of ten times but i'm succeeding at least once so that counts for something and i'm trying and 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 having fun i'm not stressing about it okay so patina ombra amazing product amazing product it gives you beautiful vintage um uh finish it's uh just mm. Love it, love it. I went through two jars already. Uh, though it's very efficient project product, I tend to use a lot. I love how it alters all the colors. It doesn't matter what colors you will use. Um, it will give them this nice uh, vintage feel. I oh, I love it. Uh, I used it excessively on both of my <laughs> Stamperia Vernissage project, and oh shit. Um, and it worked beautifully, 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 beautifully. Okay, let's go. So that's that's my quite new discovery. I discovered it thanks to Belinda. I followed a couple of uh, her tutorials before she joined Stamperia. She was showing how to use those. And then we tried them out on peanut butter glasses. I fell in love. I purchased a couple of colors because you can get those um, effect based in different colors uh, so I, I think I have a fantasy and cameo set so I have all the rust and patina colors and some extras like for example crazy purple that gives me um, that's you know it's basically like rust in the jaw it's a dry rust uh, like uh, effect um, last year I was crazy all about the natural rust the two ingredient rust when you put the iron powder and then you put the oxide and it uh, create the reaction and it makes your product project rusty but uh, you know uh, Bella's rusty obsession is rubbing on me strongly <laughs> so I wanted to try out because I, I, I just love the outcome that she gets and uh, I tried out those techniques and uh, if you follow me on Instagram you can see that a couple of my oh my god my laptop is dying give me give me one second oh my god it's not that cable shit oh, oh my god honey mode honey mode okay cover the screen cover the screen cover the screen okay well we'll move on uh, to the next best thing to the slide bread so those are stencils. Um, and now we are not done with the products, uh, like the mixed media products yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Laptop is plugged. Those are stencils. Those are stencils. Those are stencils. And I didn't, uh, uh, because um, from some kind of reason, I thought that I will be able to tell you if the product is on the right or it's on the left, but uh, I'm not able. <laughs> I am not able, okay, wait, on my right and on your right probably um, is AB Studio, on the left is Stamperia, so uh, Stamperia, 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 uh, I love their stencils in general and um, I, I purchased lately uh, a lot of stencils and they are all cool and everything. But uh, in, uh, in today's video, I'm featuring the ones that really... Um, you know, I, I find myself reaching out for them more than for the other ones. Uh, and thinking about, when I think about the projects, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about using them. And, you know, like uh, uh, on, uh, on the left, those two have, uh, have one thing in common, those spiral pattern. Uh, the one on top, 
uh, was the gift from Bella. Uh, she gave me uh, that stencil. And uh, I think we were doing uh, uh, one of the uh, cops together and she, she gave it to me as the product that I have to use. Oh my God, I fell in love. I love this one. I love I love them, uh, and those two top ones from Stamperia because they have so many patterns and you can use them so, in so many ways. So, uh, though I don't have to save on products and, uh, you know, basically if I like it, I will buy it. I still appreciate how much you can get from that one stencil. It's like having at least five of them because <laughs> you have the snake pattern and the staining and then you have uh, um, a spiral and the text and everything. And uh, I love those uh, stencils. The The latest one that joined that family is Antoni's stencil uh, from uh, with Damask and with the compass and Oh my God, I love damask, I love compass and combining them together made just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful face. And the one on the right are stencils from AB Studio for first like half of the year. <laughs> I was constantly using those stencils and um, you know, every time when I was grabbing them, I, I was gravitating to them and the, um, the one that are um, uh, extremely on right, uh, the, the bottom and the top, it's just the same pattern. One is bigger, second one is, is smaller. Um, Asha, it's really easy to um, mess that out. The, the steampunk spiral, I spotted thanks to Bella. And, um, you know, it was one of the first stencils that I purchased since I got my product freedom. And she she saw that, that one and she was like, oh, look, it's so cool. And yes, uh, it is cool. It is cool. I love that stencil. Love, 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 love it. And you can mask off the gears. Mine are like permanently masked off. I don't like uh, stencil gears. I like stencil to other stuff, you know, not necessarily gears. I love steampunk, but maybe not uh, a gear stencil, but, you know, everyone can do whatever they want. <laughs> I prefer my gears to be dimensional. Anyway, stencils from AB Studio, they are also amazing. And uh, we are not done with stencils because if you follow, then you know. Okay, so um, those two stencils, uh, let's start from the right. Those are stencils from Pinaba. Uh, you know, like I said, when I could buy a Prima, I, I went for Prima to, to try it out because uh, I think that a nice, amazing artist. And I wanted to try out her products and see what kind of quality she's standing for. So, uh, oh my God, I love them. The checker I purchased myself and the other one, again, it was gift from Belinda and oh my god those are my two favorite stencils from Finaba and two other stencils that I found myself gravitate to over and over and over and over again are uh, Nineka stencils and uh, I didn't feel the description I will I will put a uh, link uh, and I think that Nunu is uh, admin so if anyone wants the link then you know, just shout out and someone hopefully will notice and put it there because I will add some links, general in, in links to the products that I'm talking about in uh, in the description box. Uh, Nuneka, uh, you know, Finobar stencils, you can purchase everywhere where you can buy Prima or in mixmedia.com. Nuneka stencils, you can buy in uh, La Tienda Le Manu. Uh, Oh my God, I cannot pronounce that. <laughs> I know that the company is called Sin Logos and those two guys, oh my God. In the States, you can buy it with the uh, Disorganist Crafter. She has a nice uh, range of Nunu stuff. I love those two stencils. The first one, the top one, I have to buy uh, a spare one because, uh, you know, I, I keep using it and using it and using it. And I'm afraid that one time I will leave it on my art. Look, and it will dry on me and then I will, I will cry. I will crash. I will be devastated. Second one, the one with excess, I didn't expect to love that stencil that much. And, you know, those are like... I have a separate pouch with my favorite stencils to not go through all of them. 
and oh my god love it love it it's you know it's it's amazing it's really easy to use even you would not say that you know like geometrical will be my style but it is it is i'm telling you it is i fucking love that stencil um absolutely absolutely love them and you know just amazing 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 products uh i think that uh, i have almost all new stencils and they are all beautiful the same thing is with Finoba or Stamperia or, you know, in general, stencil is a cool fucking thing. But those, oh, I just I just grabbed them the most this year. Though the one with excess, uh, I have for the shortest amount of the time. I used it in so many places. Some of them I cannot disclose because I shouldn't use that stencil. I should use something else. But I still grab it and use it. So, you know, it's a secret. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, uh, okay, about silhouette, uh, about silhouette, about silhouette. Oh, yes, and if you are in US, uh, Nikki Disorganized Crafter, she have those, and she also have Nunu's houses. I didn't put chibots uh, in, the, in today's thing because we are already over fucking one hour and we are not done yet. Whew. Okay, let's move on. So another thing that I discovered this year will be a rice paper and I use the shit out of my rice paper <laughs> uh, the ones on the screen uh, you know extremely to the right the one that takes the most space is uh, mm, rice paper from Lady Vagabond uh, collection I freaking love it you don't see it on the freaking screen because picture will not give you the true colors it's Beautiful, natural, worn, leathery brown with lavender, uh, pinkish flowers. It's, it's, it's just fucking beautiful. I love it. I love it. I, I, I love it extremely. And soon you will see uh, that I'm not lying and I was using it a lot. And uh, all the ones on the other side are ones that I used and repurchased. Because I have a lot of rice papers, but I just, those I was repurchasing and I use them to create my uh, vernissage projects. And uh, I believe that I will repurchase them again, the ones that I can get, because some of them I got from Bella and I couldn't get. Okay, that's love of my 2020. And uh, again, I have Belinda to blame for it. Those two bottles that you see here. I'm making wonders. It's um, fast curing resin uh, uh, from nine minute work time. I moved to two minute work time. Basically, it cures immediately. It always works. It gives me beautiful results. If I use it a lot, then I would uh, use, um, uh, oh my God, the mask. Uh, Cause uh, you know, do not inhale your resin. It doesn't matter if it's a, Oh my God, why my quality went so down? I look like I'm filming myself with the freaking potato. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Fuck that. You can see the picture on the screen. So uh, it's a TFC Troll Factory German resin. I buy, buy it in the Amazon. And here on the picture is the smallest amount. And I go for pff, at least one little balls and it goes right away because i love freaking months okay let's go through those um probably i'm again fucking late to the party those are kt sue molds i love them i love them both of them uh i spotted pipes when we had the hop and everyone had those fucking pipes except me so i went and i bought them and i was like yeah you know what you missed out on this one so you will buy yourself those gears and i was using them over and over and over and over again such a cool mold and uh i purchased originals they are a little bit more expensive but you know they are uh, molded according to uh katie's sculpture and yeah you can go with the repos if you are that kind of person i prefer to buy one original than two fake fake ones uh okay Another uh, another discovery and uh, 
Fun fact, one of them I don't even know, own. I always borrow from the... Because <laughs> it's always sold out, okay? It's always sold out. It's not like I'm, I'm so fucking cheap. It just always sold out when I want to buy it. Uh, so those are Prima molds. Uh, two of them are Pinoba molds and one is redesign. And uh, oh my God, moons and stars, guys, you know, it's the next best thing from the sliced bread. Uh, of course, except those uh, cogs and gears. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Whole 2020 is under, you know, the sign of those molds. Okay. Uh, my next discovery, and I didn't use a whole bunch of them yet, and you didn't see me using uh, all of them, but I I have a lot of the patterns from Zuri, and I love it. I was also part of the Zuri Hub. I'm really happy with my artwork. I will have a video coming up when Nicole will get her brush uh, that is exclusively Zuri, and oh my God, I love those molds. Um, I don't know if they are pricey or not. I have them thanks to Nikki. She sent them over to me from USA because you couldn't buy them in, in Europe. Oh my God, the gate is fucking huge. It's packed with detail and the most. They have a lot of more that I don't have yet, but I'm thinking about them. And okay. And at the end. <laughs> Lady Vagabond molds. Oh my God, guys, I love them. I love them. Lady Vagabond is on the chat, by the way. <laughs> the... So I love all those molds. Uh, you know, like uh, maybe not each single mold on each single shit is for me, but like pipes. Come on, who doesn't need those pipes? I, I need all the pipes that I can get. To, to have this nice, cool, steampunky look, and you can mix and match them, and they are so cool to use in Bella body through, and, uh, you know, you can make a short and long connections, you can go right and left, and make, uh, you know, a whole, whole bunch of things with the pipe mold, and it's a cheap mold, and you get a lot of printouts from one running, because you get several thicker ones and several thinner ones, so with one run, you have a lot. Um, all the other ones, I have at least a couple of pieces on each one uh, that I love. I love the cogs. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the wings are beautiful. Uh, there is also one with the airship. I have no idea why I didn't put it here yeah, from some kind of reason because that one had the pair, pair. You know that, okay, I, you have to look at me when I'm doing that because I don't remember. It the, It starts with P and it's the thing on your fan that does <laughs> like with the helicopter. So, oh my God, I, I love those uh, those elements. Let's let's bring them back to the screen. Uh, yeah, and hinges and belts and everything. Oh my God, it's, I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. Um, I really love all those, all of those molds and you have big and small pieces depending on what do you like and you know what they are not fucking expensive and you can buy them all they can be like the pokemons you can fucking have them all you don't have to make up your mind because with prima molds i have to think about it like uh, they are really high quality and everything but they are quite on the pricey side so i have to consider it would I prefer to have this one or this one first? Which one is more important for me at that particular moment? And with those being priced so low, I can, you know, um, have them all and I don't have to choose. Uh, I also have the Sir Bagaban molds and they are, oh my God, they are also, also really, really beautiful. And it's not like I don't like them. I just didn't use them yet. And that would be a lie if I would put them in the video. And those I was using and I have like, you know, whole, okay, no, I will not grab it because the cat is laying there. I have the whole box uh, uh, of the ones that I, I run before I got my molds. I borrowed, uh, you know, I went to Bella and I just uh, ran some extras to, you know, you, you can't have enough of those hinges. And if you go to Belinda's channel, you, you, you can get to know how to bend them and how, how to adjust them to use in any kind of project that you want. Okay, so whoo, this way, sorry guys that it's so long. Uh, I'm trying to go fast to make sure that if 
you watch on the replay, you also can have some fun and you will get some knowledge because um, that's the purpose of the video. I will look fast on the comments. Uh, Oh, oh yeah, you got your lady back up Yay! <laughs> oh my god. You know what? When I got my lady back about, first of all, I did a live stream so you could all hear me squeaking, but I was also calling Belinda and I was squeaking to her ear and I was squeaking on my uh delivery guy. He came at seven fucking AM and he woke me up with the parcel he was so fucking lucky that it was a cool parcel because otherwise i would be pissed but i was squeaking at my courier because lady vagabond arrived yeah so <laughs> now we are arriving on honor honorable mentions of the year so uh guys let let me just oh my god where is it let me just say that that in my opinion uh you know uh, that is the release of the year. Sorry, at least of the two years. Uh, Lady and Sir Vagabond, those two collections, they, I think about them as the one collection because they uh, interact with each other. And I'm not saying that because Belinda is my friend because, uh, you know, if I would not like it, I would say that I don't like it and she would be not offended. Um, I love it. I just love it. I love all the concepts behind it and I love how they work together and I love all them that they are funky. I love that they are vintage. I love the colors. I love stencils. I love papers. I just fucking love everything about it. Yeah, no surprise that I'm in Lady Vagabond team, huh? <laughs> yeah, but seriously, guys, even if we would be not friends, I would buy that. I would buy that. I would. It doesn't happen a lot that I would buy whole fucking collection, whole fucking line. Because usually I would be like, yeah, I will pay this pencil and maybe two papers, but no, no, I would take it all. It's it's beautiful. It's amazing. And um, it just, it is just freaking awesome. Okay, the rest of the honor, honorable mentions, it's something new. I couldn't put it as my very favorite product because, you know, I used it just a couple of times. So I don't know if it's a favorite. I don't know if it will stand the the uh, the, the test of the time. It's um, Those are those pastes from Finoba, the epic pastes. And oh, I have something for you. I didn't put the English version yet. I, I just put the Polish version. Uh, of uh, me testing out those babies, I did my living room table with them. I have a sparkly top table. They are so freaking sparkly. They are so beautiful. It's just like the perfect combination of glitter, flakes, and sparkle. And <clears throat> I, I love them. I love them. Um, I absolutely love them. All oh, they are also beautiful and so easy to use and yeah i know you can take the gel and you can take the plates and you can mix your own but those are pre -mixed. you don't have to do freaking anything you just grab them and and go with it and it looks beautiful especially that lately i'm playing with resin and if you put the resin on oh my god my my voice was it my voice <laughs> Yes, yeah, so when you put the resin on top of that, it's just beautiful. Oh my God, finally, I was waiting for the fucking hour and 20 minutes. Thank you, honey. I love you I'm as well. I'm in the desert. I couldn't. Oh, you are in the desert. That, that's great. I almost lost my voice. Ah. Go and leave the like and comment as the punishment. <laughs> uh, yes, so those pays are. You know, you can't see it in the camera. I get so annoyed. Um, Nunu did the video, and I think that she catched them a little bit better than I did. They are reflective and um, iridescent. It's it's so hard to catch them on the camera, like they look in the real life. They they just like pure joy and happiness under the resin on top of the table in my living room and. Yes, I also made myself customs to match my beautiful, fucking amazing table. And I did that table following uh, Nelly's 
information about different kind of resin. If it goes to resin like um, uh, making the 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 countertops and and uh, you know covering stuff with resin, go to Nelly's channel. She she just have amazing fucking amount of knowledge about the, the products. Unfortunately, it was hard for me to get aluminite, but I still use all the tips that she's uh, giving. So so go and check it out because it's, it's really worth it. And oh my God, I love the resin. And I'm experimenting with it still to make a decent video for you guys. Okay, last thing. Those are other honorable mentions. So infusions. In theory, I should fucking hate that product because it's uh, water-based. It's water-reactive. And it's flat product. It's because, um, oh, my God, I missed the magicals. I didn't put them. Okay. It, can you see the middle, middle part of the collage? That, that was spot for the magical. Yeah. So imagine... Imagine that the magicals are there. Okay, wait. To make it up for my my horrible, horrible, horrible. <laughs> Sorry for that. Oh my god! I was okay. I was in the rush. So imagine that those those little freaking jars are there in the middle of the collage. Okay, because uh, I love them as well. Uh, and I tried them because I I wanted to uh, to check out all the techniques that Neka is doing, and uh, she's strong advocate for magicals and for Landis as well. Um, but particularly magicals, you know, because they are first of all the name magicals. How you cannot want to have them? Anyway, they should be in the middle of the collage. So yeah, let's start with them. Beautiful watercolory powders with shimmer, and they oh, they just work beautifully, and they work so nice on your artworks. And you can also get them in flat in case that you don't like the uh, shimmery ones. Okay, infusions. I got them for my birthday from Stampers Group. I I made a purchase, and James was kind enough to send me some, and I was like, mm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I already had them, so what should I do? Toss them away? No fucking way. So I tried them out, and oh my god, it's it's the next best thing since sliced bread. Again, uh, those. All those colors have the balance time, so you have to cure them in the different um, timing. And I didn't put them in the full on blown video because those products that are here on the screen, plus magicals, <laughs> and those are the products that I tried just a couple of times. And I'm not sure if I like them or I love them. You know, it's um, I'm, I'm sure that I like them, but I, I, I'm not sure if if, if they are ride or die. Anyway, infusions, really cool with the uh, balance stain. If you cure them for long enough uh, when they are wet, all the co colors will have this cool brown undertone and they will look so freaking amazing and vintagey. Next, let's, let, let's go up to the top of the screen. Those are two kinds of paints, shabby velour and rusty paint from Fabrica de Cola. It's a Russian company. Uh, again, a birthday gift from my friends to myself. I got a coupon and I always pick something that I never tried out. So I picked those and uh, shabby velour are perfectly smooth face paints uh, that dry um, with a slight tooth, but not grain and rustic Pat, are you fine? Okay, perfect. Um, and uh, rustic paint is more like um, phenobar rusty paints, but not the same. I mean, it, it is more more grainy and more obvious that it's paint. I would use it more to to paint like sneak out houses and pretend that it's a it's a wall or stuck. But it's um, it's a cool paint. It's it's still cool. As you can see, I, I, I like it. I like them, but I'm not sure if I love them. I, I just use them a couple of times. So they they definitely need uh, um, more trying out from me. I like the effect. I'm not sure if that would be my fave. Okay, next one is something new. It's a paint from uh, Pentart. It's called Deco Paint Soft. It was recommended to me by Mirka from Middle Bear. And uh, I 
I really like it. I'm pretty sure that I could put it in a love it uh, category, but you know, I made like two projects with it. So I have to say, if I just really, really like it or I'm in love, are we, are we dating or we are already moving to the third base? And you know, it's hard to say, it's hard to say we are still, I'm still dating with those paints, but you know, we, we certainly said on the last day that we have to repeat that fucking experience. So I I would recommend you to try it out. If you like uh, a cool finishes, those paints have perfectly matte, smooth, silky finish. They look beautifully and uh, you can do so much with them on top. Uh, you can do so much <laughs> on top of them. You can use different mediums to make them look more vintage more, or, uh, or more shabby. Uh, I think that they are very similar to, oh my God, uh, home deco paints from uh, Stamperia. They have a really similar um, plushy finish. It's, when you touch it, it's it's plushy, but it doesn't look plushy. It doesn't look like flock. It's it's really nice uh, finish. And uh, those from Stamperia I used on my first Lady Vagabond inspiration. I did the ornament. And you can see that it's it's perfectly matte and smooth and oh, just beautiful. Next product, also Stamperia. It's uh, Antonio's Vintage Ink Paste. I like it. I'm not sure if I know how to use it. I'm not sure if I'm not preferring Patina Umbra over this product, but... I used it just a couple of times, and first time I used it, I fucked it up. <laughs> so I don't know if if, if it counts or oh, counts, not counts. Mm, sorry, be wary. I'm sorry sometimes by accident. Uh, okay, so bottom row we have pent out, uh, and maybe not necessarily pent out, but um, uh, alcohol inks. I'm not sure if I love them or hate them. It's not like we are dating. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I like them. A special shout out to the one that it's, uh, you know, in the packaging because you have like three yellows standing together and one guy is standing out before Stamperia product. That one is freaking something else. It's a rainbow. So it's transformative. It's iridescent it's oh my god it's a magic in the bowl but i cannot show you on camera because i have no idea why i, I have this, this ability of showing the sparkle in camera though i love the sparkle so so how bad is that uh are we still live or not because i'm not sure uh something is are we still live yes i'm pretty sure that i'm live can can somebody yes okay we are magicals okay perfect so um okay i i don't know why my my screen froze what the fuck i'm allowed okay anyway i will finish it off i will finish it off probably it's my it's my stupid phone connected with my stupid headphones i hope that you can still hear me okay next product is stamperia mirror effect i I almost love it. I almost love it. I really, really like it. We already went a couple of the dates and we set up that we will uh, that we will have another date. And oh my god, it's it's just something else. It's a mirror effect. It's the same thing with with the, the with the things that you uh, uh, that you put on your nails. The mirror effect is just oh. Something, something else, a next level shine, and I didn't expect that I will like the product as much as I do because my first approach is to products like that didn't end up with the success. So, eh -eh. okay, and we are at the last one. It's alloy, and alloy I saw on alloys I uh, saw on um, uh, Karen Stamu channel. She was using them, and I thought that uh, you know she got. A really cool result so i i bought it i tried it i almost love it but it's you know it's the thing with the alcohol inks i i'm not sure there are days when i'm like oh yeah that's fucking amazing look at that background and there are days when i do exactly the same thing and i look at my background and i'm like what the fuck it looks 
awful. So, mm, yeah, this way or another, this way or another, this way or another, those are my favorite products of 2020. And uh, I hope you liked it. Oh, oh my God, it was a quite a ride, you know. Uh, so I, I plan that it will be a video that I will just voice over and maybe put it in the little square, but I'm too disabled to put it in the little square. So unfortunately, we are doing it like that. But I hope that you don't mind because that's the best that I could do. And I'm still quite happy. And it took a little bit of the time to collect all the pictures so you can have the visuals. But each one, each single, you know, I didn't mention a single shitty product. Uh, if something, um, and again, if if something will do not work for me or I like something, it doesn't mean that you will like it as well. Because most of the people prefer smooth gesso, gesso, like the clear gesso, smooth gesso over the one that have a really rough tooth. I prefer the one with the tooth because it just works for me. But and have to work for you. You don't have to love it. Don't hate it, but you don't have to love it. Okay, I hope that you guys enjoyed my very first banter. And uh, I will have to put the warning that this year that channel will go a little bit darker. I mean, we were quite dark already, huh? huh? But we will go a little bit darker. And because, um, you know, with the banters, uh, I. I wasn't sure where I want to take it because it started off with a really nice idea. And um, I think that by the end of January, maybe beginning of the February, I will have one serious crafty banter and we will talk. I already discussed it with my guests. We will talk about uh, mental health. And honestly, I'm a little bit scared of that live stream. Anyway, I will explain that when we will arrive there. But uh, this way, or oh, another guys, thank you for uh, you know for coming or hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. If I offended you with anything, then sorry. I am who I am. <laughs> it will be more of that this year, <laughs> and this year will be very exciting for me i already know that it will be a lot of cool things happening i cannot spill too many things um so i i just want to tell you that uh uh <laughs> yeah because i i almost love it but i like it i like it <laughs> and sometimes you know sometimes you, it's, you know it's a different kind of love sometimes you 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 look at you look at him he looks at you or her you know at the product and, and the thing and and it's a love from the first side it's a love from the first deep of the brush in that freaking product and sometimes it's a tough law and it has to grow on you it has to grow on you and you have to go to a couple of the days before you will even touch the first base but then when you go through this we really weird and awkward and hard stage then you know, amazing relationship can grow out of it. So I usually don't scratch products after a first fail. I will give them a couple more tries. And if all my stuff will fail, I would say like, yeah, it's shit. It's not for me. It's shit for me. It's not like it's shit in general. So there are companies that have products that are just shit and nothing can help it. But that's another conversation. <laughs> yeah, but in, in general, uh, you know, uh, I already know what I expect from the products. And if they don't do what I want them to do, that means that they are not for me, period, or they are not for me right now. Because who knows? Maybe, how, you know, in, in, in two weeks, I will discover a totally new style and I will start to do totally different things. Because that's the thing about the art, that you can do whatever you want and just follow the flow. Okay, anyway, uh, before you will all go, I want to put something up. Uh, yeah, so it's it's happening. It's happening next week, so... Stay tuned, don't miss out, and uh, there will be prizes and all that shit and shabang. So 
yeah, I hope that uh, you're ready for really, really cool year. I know that, especially in, uh, to start with the upward thing, but no worries. Now it can be just better, you know. <laughs> okay, with that positive accent, uh, thank you and have a nice evening or day, uh, wherever you are. So, uh, you know, have a nice and creative day and see you on the next one. Bye.